Well, hello, hello, friends. Thank you so much for joining us today for episode 30 of Storytime Yoga. <clears throat> I'm so excited to have you here today. I am Miss Mel, your children's yoga instructor with Breathe With Me Yoga and your mindset coach with Rise to Wellness. Today we are reading Wishful Thinking, my friends. I know that we have been out of school for the longest time and that the new announcement was just made that we are going to be out of school for even longer. So today, Miss Mel's having a little fun the night before kindergarten. That's what we're going to read today. We're going to pretend that we're going back to school. The Night Before Kindergarten by Natasha Wing. I'm excited about this book. It's a cute book. Um, thanks for joining us, Michael P. and Michael C. Um, so yes, story time yoga episode 30. If you're watching live, please do put hashtag live, hashtag busy kids in the comments. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay, hashtag busy kids. Uh, Michael P. says, hi, have a good class. No Avery today. That's right, no Avery today. Uh, she's feeling under the weather today. Um, but I'm glad that you could all join us. And friends, if you are joining us, please do have your parents put your name in the comments so that we can give you a shout out and uh, say hello. So with that, I invite you all to come to your mat or your blanket or your piece of floor while I go back to my mat to begin class. <clears throat> Getting my breathing balls, friends. So, all right, friends. Coming crisscross applesauce or in hero's pose, remembering that hero's pose is when you're on the fronts of your legs and you're sitting your bum back on your heels. I'm gonna ring bells to start class. Good job, my friends, sitting up nice and straight and tall. We're gonna start with our breathing today. This is it, if you have, are just joining us for the first time, this is our breathing ball. And when we bring all of that air into our belly, we make our breathing ball big. And when we blow all of that air out and get it out of our belly, we make our ball small. Now today, I want you to think about, or I ask you to think about something that makes you frustrated about being home from school, because we are talking about the night before kindergarten today, and something that makes you happy about being home from school, okay? So anything, when we breathe in, we're gonna think about all those happy things that make us being home, uh, happy about being home from school, and then we're gonna breathe out into our ball all of the things that makes us frustrated about being home from school. And if you don't have a ball, friends, use your hands and blow that out into your hands, okay? We're gonna let the universe take it away. So sitting up nice and straight and tall, breathing in and out in and out in and out good job my friends and remembering that although our back is straight and tall our shoulders are not hunched like this our shoulders are nice and neutral and we're breathing in through our nose and out through our nose uh, in th out through our nose or out through our mouth, whichever makes us comfortable, friends. So we're gonna do one more round of that, sitting up nice and straight and tall, breathing in, all of the happy stuff, breathe out. Blow those frustrations out, breathing in, and out. Blow those frustrations out, breathing in, and out. Good job, my friends. Now take your ball, whether it's imaginary or real, and throw it up into the air and let all those frustrations go into the air, friends. They're gone. We don't need to worry about them all. None of them at all. All right, friends, I invite you to stay on your mat or your blanket or your piece of floor. I'm gonna move my cushion forward and begin our book. Let's see, I think we have some new friends with us. Uh, Bobby has joined us today. Tracy has joined us. Thank you for joining us, Tracy and Bubby. Again, The Night Before Kindergarten by Natasha Wing. Our Euro has joined us. Welcome, friends. So many wonderful friends on with us today. Twas the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. I'll bring the picture forward for you to see. 
Do you see the girl right here preparing for kindergarten? She's sitting on her bed in butterfly pose. So let's start class with butterfly pose, friends. Coming to your mat or your blanket or your piece of floor, we are going to take the soles of our feet, the bottoms of our feet, and we're going to... And we are going to grab our feet and slowly, slowly butterfly. Now, if you like, you can be a static butterfly, which means you can stay in place and you can just push your knees down and get a good stretch. Just be careful that you don't stretch too far in your groin. Don't push it. Just get a good solid stretch where you can be that butterfly and gently float. And if you like, you can keep one hand here to keep your feet there and you can start collecting the stuff to put in your backpack for tomorrow. Collect your markers and your crayons and all of your books and just sit there getting that stretch. Good job, friends. They tossed and they turned about in their beds while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Look at all those school supplies and I want to show you Look at the little friend, let's see, there we go. Look at the little friend in bed here. They have mouse pose. And you know, friends, they're tossing and turning and they're um, thinking about school supplies. And we talked about this before, what mouse pose does for us when we're having anxiety. Hello, Bill. Thank you for Bill and Jean. Thank you for joining us. So mouse pose, when we're having anxiety or when we're thinking about so many different things and we're frustrated, it helps us to stop thinking about those things. So we're going to go into mouse pose. So come to hero's pose and we're just going to lean forward and we're going to put our forehead right on the floor or on our hands underneath. So just come forward. Put your hand, put your head right on those hands. I'm going to come up just to guide you right on those hands or on the floor. And if you're on the floor, your arms are beside you like this. Good job, my friends, letting that forehead just sit. This is good for your back. It's good for those thoughts and those frustrations. Good job, my friends. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. Look at this beautiful picture. And we can see the moon up here. So we're going to do moon pose, friends, and get a good, good stretch. Coming to your mat or your blanket or your piece of floor, we're going to stand in mountain pose just like this. We're going to ground our feet into the ground. And I'm going to bring my hands to heart center right here. You notice how my hands are like this because I'm going to be a, a moon. So I want to have my hands in a point. So I'm going to bring my hands right up. I'm going to look up at that ceiling. Get a good stretch across the front, down the front here. And now I'm going to look forward. My hands are still up. And I'm going to bend to one side like a moon. My hands are still like this, bending like a moon. You're going to feel that stretch from your armpit all the way down. I'm going to come up and I'm going to go to the other side. Be that big, bright, shiny moon looking down over all of those houses, friends. Good job. Oh, that felt like a good stretch today, friends. I needed that one. I don't know about you guys. In the morning, it came. School starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids posed for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. You see them all there? Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Well, they're not boarding a spaceship to Mars. They're going to wonderful school. And do you see right here, right in the middle, it's a big, giant neighborhood tree, and it's watching all of those lovely kids get into the cars to get ready to go to school. So let's be that tree and watch all of those kids getting ready to go to school. So we're going to come to our mat or a blanket or a piece of floor. We're going to ground those feet. I'm going to lift one foot, get my balance, and if balance is an issue, I can always tripod here. Otherwise, I'm going to lift my foot above or below my knee, bringing hands to heart center to get your balance. 
And now I'm going to put out my big giant branches, friends. And I'm going to look down. Look down. You're a big giant tree. Look down at all of those kids getting in cars and getting ready to go to school. Good job, my friends. We're going to switch legs. So now I'm going to put the other foot down. I'm going to lift this foot, get my balance. Remembering I can tripod here. But I'm going to bring my foot above my knee or below my knee. Hands to heart center. Get that balance. I'm going to bring my hands out. My big tree branches. And looking down if you can. If your balance is good, looking down at all of those wonderful kids. Maybe some of your friends are down there getting ready for school. Good job. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did at daycare. Their parents exclaimed, you're big kids, wow! Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. You see all the kids going in? It says kindergarten, kindergarten classroom one. The parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be a-okay. I'm going to show you this picture too, friends. I'm going to see who else. Our Euro says she loves our shows and our readings. Thank you, our Euro. So I'm going to show you, friends, this lovely teacher here. She is actually putting her hand out to greet all of the students. And she is a warrior, friends, and she's standing in warrior pose. So let's be warriors like that teacher and greet all of the students. So we're going to put lots of room in between our legs, friends. And I'm going to go this way. It doesn't matter which way you go, but point your toes whichever way you're going to go today, okay? I'm going to bring these toes in a little bit. I'm going to put my hands up, and I'm going to bend this knee, remembering it. I'm going to put enough space in between my legs so that that knee's over my ankle. Warrior pose. And I'm going to go like this. I'm putting my hand out to greet those kids. Put your hand out to greet your friends too, friends. Good job, my friends. Holding your warrior pose. Remember, you can be up here or you can be all the way down here, wherever is comfortable. Good job, my friends. Now I'm going to keep my feet where they are. I'm just going to turn them because I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to point the toes out that way. Bring these toes in a bit. I'm going to put my arms up and bend that knee. I can be up here or way down here. Good job, my friends. Strong back leg. Let's greet those friends. Greet them all. Say hello. How are you today? Would you like to be my friend? Good job, friends. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. Oh, look at this. This was one of my favorite things in kindergarten was carpet time, story time at the carpet. So the, the kids are all sitting in the carpet and this teacher is sitting in a chair. So let's do chair pose, friends. Let's sit in carpet time with them. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to have a little bit more room in between my legs this much. Okay, I'm going to turn around and our imaginary chair is behind us. We're going to pretend we're the teacher this time. So we're actually sitting in the chair, okay? Imaginary chair is behind us. I'm going to put my arms up and sit in that chair. Remember, I can be up here or I can be way down here. Whatever's comfy. All right, I'm going to bring my hands down because we're teacher. We're going to pretend we're reading the book to our friends. All right? Get your book ready, hold it in front of you, sit in that chair, keeping your back up, your chest up and open, sitting in that chair, getting ready for story time, friends. Good job. Woo! Is that burning your legs a little bit, friends? The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps, but where were the beds for mid-morning naps? There are no mid-morning naps in kindergarten. All right, see all of our friends on the floor. We have some friends reading. We have some friends, oh, trying to set up blankets there. We have some, some friends doing blocks, but our friends reading are sitting in forward bend. They're in a seated forward bend. So come to your mat or your blanket or your piece of floor. We're going to sit down with our legs in front of us and put your reading book right there in your lap. And we can put it down here if we like so that we can still see it when we forward bend. So we're gonna put our arms up straight in the air, 
and bend forward. Remembering to keep our back straight so it doesn't matter how far we bend. Just pretend you're leaning forward to read that book that's down here on your legs. Read that book. Just bend a little forward. Keeping your back straight. Good job, my friends. They colored and painted and played, Simon says, then tumbled and skipped and stood on their heads. Oh my goodness me. You know, I thought about having you stand on your head today, but I thought better of it. I'm just kidding, friends. I wouldn't have you stand on your head without me there. But our friends up here who are tumbling, they are doing rock and roll. So let's come to our mat or our blanket or our piece of floor. We're going to come sitting down and we're going to come onto our back with our knees bent. And you can bring your knees into your chest. You can put your hands underneath or around everything. Doesn't matter. But we are going to rock and roll. So we're going to use our tummy muscles and rock and roll. Let me see it. Let me see your rock and roll. This is tumbling like the friends in class, in kindergarten class. We're not standing on our head today. <laughs> we're tumbling. Good job, my friends. They sang silly songs from beginning to end within just a minute. Each kid had a friend. Oh, I love that they all had friends. And I love that they're in a circle there singing and they're all dancing too. They're, I think they're doing dancer pose. So let's come to our mat or our blanket or our piece of floor. We're going to put this much room in between our legs, friends. I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see me. I'm going to lift one foot and get my balance. And then I'm going to grab that ankle. I'm going to slowly bring that foot back, bring this arm out. You can keep your arm on your waist if you need to for balance. Or you can bring it out if your balance is okay. And I'm going to slowly bring that ankle back into my hand. This is dancer pose, friends. Good job. Remember, bring that arm back on your waist if you need to. All right, friends, I'm going to turn the other way, lifting one foot up, getting my balance. I'm going to grab that ankle. I'm going to slowly bring my foot back, bring my arm forward, and push that ankle back into my foot towards the wall. Dancer pose. Good job, my friends. How long can you hold it? Good job. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. The children are all happy there, but what surprise is she in for? Look at all the parents standing here. I wonder what's going on there. When what to her wondering eyes should appear but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears. Their noses so sniffly, their eyes red and wet. This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug, then sent them away after one final hug. Look at them all hugging, friends. This is my favorite, favorite part. You guys know this is my favorite hugging, hugging, hugging. All right, coming to hero's pose on your mat or your blanket or your piece of floor. Give yourselves a giant, giant hug. Hug it out. Pretend mom or dad are in between your arms and you are hugging them tight. And then bring those arms up into eagle arms. You're going to feel this stretch across your shoulders, friends. Good stretch. Now I want you to remember which arm was on top, okay? So I'm remembering this arm was on top. I'm going to go opposite now and give myself a giant hug. You can pretend mom and dad are in between those arms. Hug it out good. Tight hug. And then bring those arms up into eagle arms. I'm going to feel that stretch. Good job. Good job, my friends. All right, let's finish up our book. The children all waved from the door of the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. 
And there is our last page, friends. All of the parents crying but waving goodbye to their little ones at kindergarten. <laughs> All right. Good job, my friends. That was the night before kindergarten, my Natasha, Natasha Wing. It is now time to lay down in relaxation. I invite you all to your mat or your blanket or your piece of floor, laying down on your back, putting your arms beside you with your palms facing up. And friends, today we are laying on the magical carpet in the middle of the kindergarten room. The one that we hugged on. The one that we had those wonderful hugs with our parents on. And since this carpet is a magical carpet, we're pretending that this magical carpet is floating. It's weightless, floating in the air. So friends laying down on our magical carpet, relaxing our shoulders, relaxing our chest, and our waist, relaxing our arms and our hands, relaxing our legs and our feet, good job friends, thinking about the sounds that are around us in the kindergarten room, there's no sounds of children because we're all laying on the mat on the magical carpet. But what other sounds do we find in our kindergarten room? Maybe, maybe the humming of a fan, maybe the chirping of our class pet, or the rustling of a class pet. What class pet did you have? Think of the sounds that class pet makes. Maybe the sounds of paper rustling. Maybe the music that plays while you lay on that magical rug. Listening to those sounds, allowing them to come in and allowing them to just be. And just as those sounds are there, we allow our thoughts to come in. We acknowledge them. We allow them to just be. We don't need our thoughts to be there right now. I don't need to worry about anything or think about anything. And slowly, inside your head, I want you to repeat to yourself silently, I am healthy. I am happy. I want you to think about that happiness. Think about the warm, fuzzy feeling it gives you inside your body. Think about how happy all of those kids were at school, even though they were nervous. Do you remember how nervous they were getting ready? But they were so happy at school, having so much fun. I want you to think about that warm, fuzzy feeling of that happiness. I want you to send it everywhere in your body. Send it to your chest and your waist. Send it to your arms and your hands. <clears throat> Send it to your legs and your feet. Squinch up those toes really tight and then let them go. Letting your feet drop off to the side. And I want you to take that feeling of happiness and send it to your head and most of all, your heart. Send that warm, fuzzy feeling of happiness to your heart. And know deep inside your heart that wherever you are right now and wherever school is right now, that happiness is deep inside your heart. And I want you to take that happiness and send it out to mommy and daddy, brothers and sisters all around you in your house. Send it out to all of your neighbors. Send it out to your schoolmates and your teachers so that you can all be happy together, even though you're apart. 
send it out to all of the amazing helpers out there. Send that warm, fuzzy feeling of happiness. And when you're done with that, friends, bring that fuzzy happiness back into your heart and keep it deep inside your heart. And when you're ready, friends, keeping your eyes closed, rolling to one side, bringing your knees into your chest. And if you're yawning and you feel like it's time for a nap, that's okay. Have a nap. And if you're not, that's okay too. Waking up your body slowly. And when you're ready, come on back up sitting and join me on my nap. Sitting crisscross applesauce or in hero's pose. Nice and straight and tall. Hands to heart center. And we'll end class with Namaste. I feel good in every way. The goodness in me sees the goodness in all of you. Good job, my friends. Thank you so much for joining us today for episode 30 of Storytime Yoga. I am Miss Mel, your children's yoga instructor with Breathe With Me Yoga and your mindset coach with Rise to Wellness. Today we read The Night Before Kindergarten by Natasha Wing. I see that our friends Nancy and Jason have joined us as well with all of their little ones. Hope you were able to catch the whole show. Please do watch the replay. Um, this was an exciting book and I will put the link to purchase this book in the comments as usual. Um, please do put hashtag replay, hashtag busy kids if you're watching the replay friends. And I wish you all a wonderful afternoon. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Have a great day friends. Take care.